Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Poland. In our last episode, we declared war on Branden uh, sorry, not Brandenburg, on Burgundy and took three provinces from them. We also gave one to France because we didn't want them to hate us. Uh, and we've um, they have rivaled Austria, who is less friendly towards us now. So we will send a diplomat to improve relations with them. We are also ready to buy a new technology, which we will do. And just a bit more until we can reach level 10 and click the button to annex Lithuania. Which will be a very nice thing to do. What were we doing earlier? Oh yeah, we were improving relations with Norway. Who we might peacefully vassalize later. Okay. Now we can start... Let's take the diplomat from Austria. We can start revoking military access because it's eating our diplomatic relations and diplomatic power. Switzerland... Why did we take Bavaria? We didn't really need Bavaria. I didn't notice that we could go just through Austria. And do we still have a royal marriage with you? Yes, so we don't need to cancel the military access. Let's see who our rivals are. Ottomans have rivaled us, so let's rival them back. Wait. Before we do that, what happened? Black News indeed. Stanislav von Habsburg. Very weak monarch. But he's a Habsburg. Well, if he dies now, we will get the same dynasty, but with better stats. It's actually quite a nice thing. And Austria, we has the, have the same dynasty now, so we like each other again. And if Austria dies without an heir, we will be able to enforce a personal union on them. So let's get a royal marriage. Oh, it didn't end, so they were the ones who proposed it. And Hungary, same dynasty after election. No, you didn't support your heir, so doesn't matter. We could also get uh, a union over them, if uh, we could get a royal marriage. So we will actually improve relations with Hungary, who is our bitter enemy. Stop relation, uh, improving relations with Castile, because this can wait. Keep friendly with France and start annexing Moldavia. Soon. Let's get a royal marriage again, send them a gift, and we will be at enough relations to start annexation. Royal marriage one. And just a small gift. Wait. Noble families feud. Noble regiments and belts. Local autonomy in Helmno or diplomatic power. Let's get the rebels. We have our armies raised. We haven't decreased, ma decreased maintenance. Let's actually make our king the general. We might want him to die. Because we'll get the same dynasty. And let's kill the rebels. In the meantime, send a gift to Moldavia. Send a gift. That's enough. And start annexation. Empty words. Uh, do you want unrest everywhere? Or do we lose some power? It's actually a very low amount of power, so let's let's not risk revolt risk. <laughs> Sorry, risk revolt risk. Let's not increase our unrest. Our unrest is actually negative, so we are doing pretty well. But I would like uh, it to stay that way. So let's not increase our unrest. And you guys killed rebels. Very nice. Maybe our king can die in the process. Get back here. And we should be ready to fight Muscovy again soon. Yes. Four more years. Do we have any interesting missions? Alliance with Norway. Actually, we might want to form an alliance with Norway will be over our diplomatic relations, but they will be a good 
deterrent against Sweden. I mean, we don't really need a deterrent, we are more powerful, but when we choose to fight Sweden, they will help us. Um, yeah, we are close to vassalizing them peacefully. And Hungary might flip to neutral soon. Everything is going pretty well. It would be very powerful if we got a union over Hungary or Austria, because we are Habsburgs as well. Uh, Muscovy, do you still have your vassals? Yaroslav and Perm, yes. Doesn't matter, timber surplus. Ships are cheaper. How is our naval force limit? Can we get some more ships? Yes, two more light ships to protect trade. Let's see. Reformed is not yet enabled. Okay, so I think it has to reach 200%. We will contribute to reform desire whenever we can. And let's get financial instruments. And start annexation of Moldavia. The, those provinces are quite poor, but well, more is always better and we will free up a diplomatic slot because we are at 7 out of 5, which is not the best. We might actually want to annex um, one of our vassals here. We can then give the land to the other one if we if we need to. Hmm. Brabant has a claim on it, but Flanders, uh, sorry, Holland doesn't. So let's just annex Holland mm, when we have a free, diplom free diplomat. Then if we want to get rid of this land, for example, because uh, the Netherlands want to form, we will just give it to Flanders. And they are Flemish culture, so it will be all right. Actually, our vassal here is getting quite strong. They are becoming a major trade power because they have good provinces in a rich trade node. Let's reduce uh, army maintenance because we are not uh, planning to fight, planning on fighting anyone uh, soon. No interesting advisors. We're not getting too much monarch, too many monarch points, but uh, that's because our king is very weak. We would actually want him to die as quickly as possible and get this one. He is the same dynasty, he is a Habsburg, so we would still be able to get a union over Hungary and Austria if um, they lose an heir. And he is much better, he's a 555 as opposed to 131, so well, that's, <laughs> that's three times as good. Good. They desire our provinces, but when we improve uh, relations some more, then they might flip to neutral or... Uh, what was it? Scared? Frightened? No. What's that? Threatened. Yeah. Same meaning, different words. Oh, you're increasing maintenance. Do you have rebels or are you going to war? Oh, they are allied with Denmark and Denmark is hostile. Weird situation. But we are not really planning on fighting Denmark, at least not yet. We are planning on fighting Sweden. Also, not yet. Mm, I think we will benefit a lot from consolidating our power now. We don't really need to... Uh, to... overextend ourselves uh, anymore. Let's go to speed 4 and wait for our truce with Muscovy to end. How much longer? Three more years. Rivals? Ottomans or England? Yeah, let's get the Ottomans as a rival. We might end up fighting them. Actually, uh, it might have been a mistake. Too late now. It's sometimes good to keep one uh, slot free. But uh, we are much stronger than Burgundy, so we might eclipse them soon. Okay, we've improved the relations with Hungary as much as we could. They're still hostile. We are very rich, so let's give them a gift. They might flip to neutral. 
If they are neutral, we can get a royal marriage. Or you want to lose prestige or get some peasants. Let's get some peasants. Where exactly are you? Here. Right. So let's imp increase uh, army maintenance. Take the army with the king and hope he dies. They will regain morale on the way. Empty words. Oh, losing power again. But we don't want un unrest in all provinces. You go and protect trade in the Baltic Sea Trade Node. So do you. Good. Again? Damn it. Losing so much monarch points. So many monarch points on that. I think it's a random event, so shouldn't really bitch about it. Okay. Let's get to this one. We will improve our relations a bit. I'm really thinking I should take the first one, but we don't want unrest in all provinces. How are we doing on money? Losing money because of the level 3. Okay, it was overboard. Let's take a level 2 instead. Maybe we should also take a level 2 here. No, no, not a good idea. Reduce maintenance. Hmm. It's actually a pity we are not getting more military monarch points. Because then we would be able to get uh, those ideas and unlock forced labor. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, let's issue another edict. Okay, uh, okay, we had this event five times already. Let's say eight is the limit. 200 of each. After that we will just increase revolt risk everywhere. Maybe I'm being too lenient on them, but... Oh, Pomerania entered the coalition again. Doesn't matter to us. Maybe I'm being too lenient on the heretics, but we want to Im become heretics soon. So... It's... Oh, wait! Reformed has appeared. Why didn't I notice the pop-up? Did I click it away? Okay... So what we'll do is convert to reformed. We will lose all our prestige. Hopefully we can regain it soon or we will lose our union with Lithuania. And we will get some money and we will get new modifiers and the center of reformation which will convert provinces for us. Let's do it. But we don't want our king to die now so let's remove him from leading the army. We are able to introduce church taxes, unrest, not worth it. Pass advancement of religion act, unrest, not worth it. Superintendents, national unrest, minus one, always worth it. And let's take this mission to incorporate Moldavia. Because we are already doing that. Now we have a very nice bonus to conversion speed. Let's start with the richest provinces uh, that don't have uh, religious zeal because this goes away in time. So let's start at our capital. And we will actually become the defender of the faith because it gives us an extra diplomat and extra prestige which will be useful. Okay, Let's start with the richest provinces and move upwards. Sorry, hit my micro microphone. We have a very nice tolerance so religious unity should flip to um, should become a bit better soon. It might remove the re religious turmoil modifier. Let's see. No, it isn't changing. From provinces. Ah, we will convert them soon. And we have the new fervor mechanic, which is very nice. We get some fervor a month and we can spend it on trade to get trade power modifier on war to get morale of armies, 15% it's really a lot, or on stability, national unrest and diplomatic reputation. This might come in handy if we get some revolts or uh, we want to annex a vassal qu uh, more quickly. Okay, we have pretty nice tolerance, it's already positive, and I don't think uh, we have already unlocked the Polish tolerance. Yes, we haven't. So if we have all ideas we would get tolerance of heretics plus 3, but it's already at 1.7 and max is 3. So we're doing pretty well on that. Our missionaries are converting our provinces. 
everything is as it should be. This uh, conversion speed modifier is actually very nice. We have to watch it closely when they when they finish. And how much prestige are we getting getting per year? Not too much. Foreign air. August from Mecklenburg. No, 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 no. We want a von Habsburg air. Well, we shouldn't be spending legitimacy at the moment. We just have to wait some more and hope I c our king doesn't die, because if he does, we will lose our personal union. That would really be bad. Maybe we can get the advisor that increases prestige. No, we can't. Or was he diplomatic? No. Oh, Center of Reformation in Venden. Well, let's see the religious map mode. I was hoping to get it close to our capital, but actually this might be even better, because when we get the Lithuanian lands, it would spread our religion all over here. This is Protestant. Unfortunate. But we don't care about that really. And here is Protestant. Um... Again, Protestant? Weird. It has a diff different symbol. What are those symbols? Oh yeah, because this is the Center of Reformation and this is being converted by the Center of Reformation, if I understand correctly. Oh, doesn't matter really. Are there any more centers? Here and here. Yeah, okay. Let's get back to it. We need prestige and we need prestige soon, but I don't really want to go to war against anyone but Muscovy. Our truce will end this year. Alright, so we're ready to go to war against Muscovy, actually. Do we have a claim? I hope we have a claim. Lithuania has a claim, finally. You finally fabricated a claim. Very nice. So we will actually declare war on you in the name of Lithuania. Let's do it as soon as the truce ends. August. We can in mm, increase maintenance already. Nobles allied with foreign power. Do we want to lose prestige? No. Not prestige. Mm, we need a general. And we need another gen. No, we don't. Get here. Prepare to attack Muscovy. Protestant neighbors. Protestant neighbors reach out. The Church of Sweden is far from being in full agreement with the Church of Poland in many spiritual matters, but in one um, worldly matter we agree. The hege ah, tongue twisted. Okay, again, the hegemony of the Pope and the Patriarchs uh, cannot be accepted by true Christians. This, to them, is clearly sufficient reason to cooperate, despite um, them being Protestant and us being Reformed. What takes precedence? The political reality of our common enemy or our church doctrine. I think politics is more important. We can gain administrative power or we can get prestige. Yes, let's get prestige. Prestige is good for us. And let's get a new advisor. We can get a level 1, so we'll get a level 2 discipline. Discipline is very good. Maybe we should get rid of the mercenaries already because our manpower is all, almost at the maximum. But we'll do it after the war, because we will use some of it on the Russian winter, when it comes. Oh. We got some relations with them, but they are still our bitter rival, so it didn't really change anything, the event. June, July, August. Mantu, our brothers and sister in fate, is requesting... Um, uh, Mantua is reformed. Weird. Milan, Hungary and Aragon. No, sorry. We will lose Defender of the Faith, but... Well... Sorry. <laughs> we can't afford that. We have to fight Muscovy now. And we don't want to fight Hungary. They might become our friend. Because we're the same dynasty. 
They probably won't become a friend, but they might. When the monarchs change, they sometimes flip uh, attitude as well. So we will lose Defender of the Faith. We will lose one missionary. But let's wait for it to auto-decline. Maybe the missionary can finish their work before this happens. Okay. Front... Oh, no. <laughs> Mm, who are you, Ella? Uh, who are you fighting? Are you fighting Austria again? We don't want to be fighting Austria again. Well, we can actually accept this call to arms. But we will wait for a moment. First, we want to declare war against Muscovy. Conversion successful. Very nice. So now when we decline, we won't be um, losing the progress of the diplomat. Oh, army regiment cost reduction. Doesn't matter that much, but, well, it's a positive modifier. Okay, we auto-declined that and we lost Defender of the Faith. We could claim it again if we had enough money. Uh, and we should lose the missionary now when the month ticks. Let's accept this. And send one missionary. Yes. Yeah. This has a religious zeal, so we're not touching that. Warsaw doesn't have religious zeal. So let's go there. You guys get ready to attack Muscovy. Oh, you will go to Moscow and you will go here. Let's wait for the month to tick. If the missionary doesn't disappear, we will send him to convert as well. He disappeared, as, just as I thought. Mm, trade money, that's uh, unrest. Let's take a war focus. We'll get some more morale. And declare war. Yeah, take Moscow, whatever. Now we have to decide if we want Muscovy to become our vassal or not. But first we want we must win the war. It could be good to make them uh, colonize for us. Okay. Detach siege. Get this province. Detach Siege, go here. The winter is coming, but we don't really care. We have a lot of manpower. And we need to improve our prestige. What better way than by killing... Detach Siege. Okay, we'll engage this army soon. First, let's leave some troops here. Oh yeah, because we left troops with cannons, so the sieges go faster. That's why the detached regiments are so big. Okay, you attack the Russians. Remember to leave some troops behind. Lithuania should help us. And we are at positive prestige, so we can no longer lose our union with Lithuania. And Lithuania is coming to help us. They should be on time. Oh, I forgot how big those... No, no. Those provinces are very big, so it takes quite a lot of time for them to reach. Right, I think we have already passed the time uh, for the end of this episode. So we will end in the middle of the war. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. And remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.